choices affect me. My choices affect you. I will try to roll in everything I do. Sing it. We are, we are rockets. We
All right, Wildcats, that was amazing. I know, again, we've watched a whole bunch of these videos like this, but we're just trying to keep you reminding you how amazing our bodies are and how healthy and how fit we can get them and all the different things we can take risks and try. Never do anything that would endanger your life, but it is also fun to push yourself into new things that are fun to try. So always be safe, though. Now, as we get into uh, the rest of our lesson here, we're always trying to get you into ways to help you be fit for life. Our physical education objective, we're going to keep trying to get you to go after that five components of fitness, the flexibility, muscle strength, muscle endurance, cardiovascular, and body composition. We want those words by the end of our year to be words that are really inside of you. And you actually, when you hear them, you tune in because you know they are very uh, important words that help you stay active and get you healthy and for life. So also our social emotional objective, I will develop healthy interests and attitudes. Those are things from eating right, sleeping right, and exercising. We want you to make sure it's more than that, though. We want you to make time for yourself and do the things you love to do, okay? You have interests and hobbies and activities. Keep exploring more of those things and find things because that really does keep you in a state of mind where you can be healthy and know that um, there's always hope. There's always hope to go out there in life and do the best you can. And when things sometimes you struggle, hopefully you have places to go to that are really healthy interests and um, keep good attitudes. And again, positive attitudes always help. Find the best solutions to problems. Um, getting it back up every time when you fail, you always get back up. Our wellness objective, I will examine lifestyle choices and how they impact my overall health and my wellness. Now, this is really important. There's things, if you pick a healthy diet and you eat right, that really helps you. Smoking, alcohol, drugs, those are things that don't help uh, encourage and get you into a healthy, uh, fit state of life and wellness. And then there's also stress. How do we get rid of stress? One, I love this thing I read one time that said, every time there's stress, go outside. When things aren't working right, I go outside. Because when you go outside, it gives you a different perspective. And there's so many good, amazing things to do when you go outside. So a lot of times, taking a break and going outside really does help. And there's always things about exercise and fitness that helps you stay, um, helps you in a uh, lifestyle that's really fit and makes, uh, helps you make good choices. So again, those are really important, all part of staying fit for life. Now let's move on to our warm up. Now our warm up, there's a game some of you played probably before with the dice. It's left, center, right, and you actually pass something around. Whoever ends up with it, uh, all the things at the end. No, everyone else has lost their little parts and their little, whether it's money or little, you know, games, candies. Someone's a winner. But in this right here, we're taking it into your exercise. So you're going to be jump, doing jumping jacks the whole entire time. But we're going to be able to see on the screens. It's going to be fun for us to watch because when it says left, you're doing a jumping jack in the left, jumping jacks in the left of your screen. And then as soon as it moves to another uh, screen and it says center, now you're moving. You're not stopping, but you're just moving and you're doing all your jumping jacks in the center. And then it moves again. And then you keep jump jacks, jumping jacks, jumping jacks, and it goes over to the right. So we should be able to tell in the screen where you are, center, right, or left. So all of you should be shifting. It's going to be real fun for us to watch when we see 49 of you at one time on the screen all moving to the center, to the right, and to the left. So it's going to be really, we're going to be smiling a lot as we watch you. So this is a great warm-up, jumping jacks the whole time. Wherever it says uh, on the screen to do center, you can make sure you're in the center of your screen. If it says left, you're in the left of your screen. If it says right, you're in the right of your screen. So keep moving. This is a fun, fun activity for us to watch and to get you warmed up. Great job, you should be moving. Excellent, everyone should be sliding over. All the way. Don't stop your jumping jacks. Your jumping jacks should be fluid and keep moving and you're just sliding your feet. Getting that heart rate up. Remember we get up there after we check that heart rate. See if you're in your target heart rate zone. 160 something to 180 something for most of you is your target zone. Excellent. Almost done. Stop. Don't stop. Get back up. We can't see in the screen. We have to give you a zero and we do not want to give anyone a zero. We shouldn't see your fans. We should see you because you are amazing. All right, good job, winding down, and great job, way to go.
All right, I'm kicking it off to Mrs. Oliver. All right, all right. Hello, Wildcats. Well, we're going to do a really cool challenge right now. This is, of course, on our app. So make sure you look at the app. And this is the daily physical challenge. Now, this is where we need that piece of paper. We asked you to have some paper ready before we came to class. I'm going to give you a second if you need to run and grab a piece of paper. Go get a piece of paper. Make sure you get it. Um, may I suggest to you, don't get a little piece of paper. You will not be very successful at this. So make sure eight and a half by 11 is going to do you well. Legal size might even do you better. <laughs> so here we go. We're going we're gonna to follow his instructions and we're going to give you some time uh, at the end to actually try the challenge. So let's follow directions. Here we go. So in today's challenge, we're going to try a challenge that showed up on YouTube a few years back. And you're going to need a piece of paper for today's challenge. So at level one, we take the piece of paper and we fold it like this, and then we put it down. Now we have to pick it up with your mouth without any of your body parts touching the ground except to put your standing on. Let's look at level two. So in level two, we fold the paper the other way and makes it much more difficult. As you can see, my Achilles tendons are quite stiff. Maybe this is easier for you. Good luck trying. All right, well, <laughs> that was hard. That's why I said if you had a little teeny piece of paper, heck no. Some of you were amazing. It was fun to watch. Oh my gosh, you are so flexible. That flexibility and balance, those are, some, those are, those are two things that are hard to do. I know uh, those of you that have done our physical challenges before, when we've tried our different tests here with our balance and, and our flexibility, so that was pretty amazing to watch. That was really fun. So now we're gonna move into our dancing. Oh, you're so excited. This was a special request by one of your own. Yes, you say, wait, we're allowed to request? Well, you can make a request in the chat and we will look at that video and see if it's appropriate. Hard, hard thing nowadays, we gotta make sure that everything is appropriate. So we'll check it out. This one's kind of fun, it's good. It's called Beep Beep, I'm a Sheep. And it's really, really quite, quite, the, even the name makes me smile when I say it. Beep, beep, I'm a sheep. So uh, we're going to follow, follow along with the instructions. Guys, just try it. It's fun. I swear it's fun. Just get up and have a good time. Here we go. Some of you might be wondering, how exactly does one beep beep like a sheep? Take it away, Gabe! Throw your hands up, then point them to the floor! Here's what to do, now get down on all fours! Just bounce around, it's easy for me! Go crazy now, when beep beep like a sheep!
yourselves. You know how to pee people like a sheep, I see. But is that all you can do? I'm a sheep. Beep, beep. Say, now you're going to be saying that now for the next week, two, three, four. You're going to be saying, a beep, beep, I'm a sheep. That was fun. I had such a good time watching you guys do it. I had a great time doing it with you. And now I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Estes. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Oliver. That was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed seeing you guys up and moving and dancing. And that was, that was a fun song. Kind of silly, but really fun. Um, okay. I'm really excited about this game because this game kind of takes me back to when there was a day when we would actually meet at school, right? We would go out on the hard courts and we would actually take a real basketball and we'd shoot it into a real basketball hoop. And um, I actually used to do that with kids, um, believe it or not. And so since we can't do that physical thing and play the actual game of knockout, one of my favorite games, um, this is something you can do at home and you can do this with your family. So we really wanna encourage you guys to do these kinds of games and activities with your family members, with friends, if you're allowed to have friends over, um, but do it with more than just yourself. Now you can do this with yourself and there's gonna be some suggestions in there how you can play this game by yourself, but we really wanna see you doing this with your family. It just really makes for a fun time, you know, as you, as you do things with other people. So um, we're gonna watch this video real quick. It's gonna give us a little bit of instruction on how to play knockout using a paper ball and a cup and a blanket. You can see that on the screen and then something to mark a line, I don't know, about five or six feet away. So um, make sure you have those items ready because after this video, you're gonna go ahead and compete against this guy one-on-one, um, -on -one. but again, when you're doing this at home, we want to see you doing this with your families. Um, you will find this on our EISPE app, and that's where you can do this at home. Okay, so stay tuned, watch this, and enjoy. I'm Coach W from BeWellPlay.com, and this is Paperball Knockout. All you need to play this game is a blanket, two paper balls, a cup, and grab some rocks to put inside your cup. Your goal is to be the first player who makes your ball inside the cup. So our blanket is gonna be the box. You cannot shoot from inside the box. And then we need a free throw line. Your first shot has to come from the free throw line. Every other shot has to be from outside of the box. You could play regular knockout, where if the person behind you makes it before you, you're out. Or you could play no out knockout, where two people just race to get the point. If you don't have anybody at home to play against, you can still play this game. Just set a timer for two minutes and see how many baskets you can make in that time. Next time you play, see if you can beat that score. All right. What did you think, guys? Are you ready? I think, uh, I think you guys are ready now to see, you know, you can show us what you got. It's, it's a little bit harder than it looks. You saw I'm struggling there. So um, I think you can beat them. So here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get us started for this next challenge where you're going to actually compete. So get your, yourselves ready. Make sure you have your line ready and both feet behind your line. You have your blanket ready. The cup is on top of your blanket. Okay, and you have your paper ball. Okay, you should only need one paper ball. All right, here we go. Get ready, set, here we go. I'm Coach W straight out of Kansas City, Missouri. And I wanna know, can you beat me in the two minute paper ball knockout challenge? Ready, set, go. One. 
to it. Can you beat 15? All right, everybody. That was so fun to watch. I know it's really silly. It's just a game to get you up and moving. And uh, we would love to know what your number was. How many shots were you able to make uh, in the cup? Text us in the chat. Let us know if you, if you beat the guy that you were going up against. Um, really, really fun. So we really enjoyed that, guys. All right, I'm going to go ahead and send it off over to Mr. Lottenslager for our next activity. All right, thank you, Mr. Estes. That was a lot of fun. We are now going to take part in an activity called Shape Dancers. So we need everybody up on your feet. You're going to need a couple of feet on each side of you to move around on. Uh, this is a part of fitness. Again, we are working and shaping our muscles. What we are going to be doing is we are going to be exercises and shape it into a dance. So whatever the screen tells you to do, you're going to mimic that move. So we're going to pay attention to the shape and whatever exercise is uh, related to the shape, that is what we're going to do. So we're going to take a look at our screen right now. It's going to give us our directions. Please read along this with me. So here is what we're going to be doing. We are going to be doing four exercises. We're either going to be doing the squat, the jump, the half jack, and the lunge. So you'll see the shape affiliated to the corresponding exercise. So when you see a triangle, you're gonna do the squat. When you see the circle, you're going to do the half jack. When you see the square, you're going to do the lunge. And then whatever that green thing is, whenever you see that, you're going to do a jump. So you're going to do it in sequence. So it's gonna be in the form of a dance. So whenever you see the triangle, you might do a, a quick uh, squat, then a half jack, then a jump, and then a lunge in order of the shapes. So we're going to have four, or sorry, we're gonna have five rounds of this. And as we get to each round, it's going to get prog progressively quicker. So let's see how quick you guys are. Again, we have five rounds of doing this activities. Here we go, shape dancers. Let's see what you've got.
wow, my heart is thumping. It's ready to jump out of my chest. That was exhausting. I don't know about you guys. I was a little confused at times. It got a little messed up. But again, that's okay. Just keep going. All right, you guys. Great job. We are now going to do our marching band sports specific activity. So in a moment, you're going to have a series of exercises that you need to do. Again, these are marching band related or skills you may need if you were in the marching band. So we've done soccer related, football related, basketball related, tennis related, but now we're doing marching band related. So again, please do the exercises as we do them. Again, give your best effort. We know you're gonna do a great job. And here we go. All right, Wildcats, way to go, outstanding. We appreciate that effort. You guys did a really good job. Now I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Whitehead. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Ladenslager, and great job, Wildcats. I love that we have so many different uh, sports-specific exercises that even include marching band as one of our sports. That's just awesome. So for those of you guys who are uh, – you play an instrument or in a band and maybe plan in high school to, to be in the marching band. Great to begin working on those now. So we've had a great day of exercise. We're now gonna begin doing our cool, and cool down. So let's take a moment now. We've got this gentleman who's going to show us an excellent cool down exercise. Follow along with him as he takes us through our cool down. All right, everybody. We only have about five minutes left for our cool down. Get my timer started here. We're doing each one of these for 30 seconds a piece. So we're just going to start off with a regular right over left toe touch. So right leg comes over top of left. We're just going to go straight down on those legs. If you want to, you can start with a flat back, get into those legs a little bit more, and then round that back down to get it to jump up into that lower back a little bit more. Just keep that left leg, the one underneath, locked out nice and straight. So reach down as low as is comfortable for you. Lungs open. Switch sides. Again, if you want to start with that flat back. Round forward, stretch down towards those toes. Keep that right leg straight. Up straight, deep breath in, feet out nice and wide, drop that left hip down, lean over a little bit, you should feel it stretch to the inside of that thigh, 
breathe normally. Same thing on the other side. I want to find a piece of open wall or a door frame or something like that for this next exercise. Just about five seconds left. All right, go lean up against the wall, or if you can do this just balancing, that's great. You're going to bring your right leg back into your uh, right hand, pull that heel to your butt, and pull that knee back behind you. Keep that torso straight up and down. If you need to help with balance, just lean against something. But try to use as little as possible. Same thing on the other side. Rotate, pull that heel up to your butt, pull that knee back behind you, torso straight up and down. Use something for balance only if you need to. Otherwise, make that body have to do all the work. No sense in cheating if you don't have to. Right down into a plank. You're going to put one foot back, other one over top, so you're pushing that heel down to the ground to stretch that calf. Keep that leg locked out, so I'm starting with my right leg. It's okay to keep, kick your hips up nice and high to get a little extra leverage. Just keep those lungs open. Same thing on the other side. Here in just a second, we're going to drop down on the ground, do a deep glute stretch for a last. Roll over onto your back, <clears throat> right ankle on top of your left knee, grab behind that left leg, and pull in. Just make sure you're not grabbing on your shin. You want to only grab behind your thigh. <sighs> pull in as close as is comfortable. <sighs> Just let those lungs open up and let everything else relax as much as you can. You should feel a stretch through that hip and that glute. Same thing on the other side. Pretty sure this is our last one here. Should I let everything else relax? All right, and that is it. Very good job, you guys. So now we're going to look at some of the benefits of activity, of being active, playing sports, and being active. Take a look at this great list that we have here of all these wonderful things that are benefits for being active. Uh, some of my favorite are positive attitude, right? It just, I know when I get out there and run around, I, I feel better about myself. Uh, it tones your muscles, helps with your immune system. There are so many things here. Take a minute, look down that list, and uh, it just we wanted to offer this as an encouragement to you as to the reasons why we do what we do and why you really want to be physical and active getting out there every day. And I love that I get to hear from you guys in the chat that you say, man, my arms are sore, my legs are sore, because we're working and that's what we want to see. So great job. Keep it up. Keep it up. A couple of announcements now for us. Uh, we are getting close to the end of October. You can see I'm getting ready here for some trick-or-treating, but uh, we have to think about those things that are due. We've got uh, just turned in already at the beginning of this week uh, was due our fit log for September and October, okay? So that was a four-week assignment. 
If you didn't get it in, make sure you get that in. And uh, you have until the 28th of October to get your assignments in, uh, both the ones in Google Classroom, uh, are all the ones in Google Classroom, and make sure you have all your PE participation credit, any extra credit you wanna have in, because we are closely approaching now the end of the first trimester where grades will be finalized and the grade you have will be what you get. So make sure you're getting all of those assignments in and taking care of all of that stuff, okay? So we do look at your participation when we're on the call. As we've told you guys, that does factor into your grade. So if you're leaving early, turning off your call, not participating, all of those things are being recorded. Make sure that you are fully participating, engaging in our calls each time so you get full credit. All right? That's what we had for you guys today. So good to be with you again. Thank you guys. Have a great rest of the day, and we will see you next time. Take care.